show you how to play a game called Number Smash. Um, do you want to wave and say hello? Hello. Um, this game is uh, one of our numeracy games, practicing our numbers. So we're going to start with the easiest way, make it a little bit trickier and a little bit trickier again. Uh, all you need to play are some number cards. We've made these by cutting up um, a cereal box and just writing the numbers. But you can use paper or anything at all. We also need some egg clippers. Have you got your egg clipper? Yeah. That's what we're going to use to smash the number. Okay. Um, the numbers I'm starting with go from 0 to 13. And they're numbers that my little person is happy enough with. Depending on the confidence of your child, you're going to need to make the numbers a bit bigger. The likes of senior infants could probably start at 15, maybe going all the way up to 32. Uh, judge it by your own child. Um, just a little bit challenging for them, but not so much that they can't actually do it. Are you ready to play? Yes, how do you swap? Do you want to swap? Okay, Right, are you ready? It's a race to see who smashes the number first. Can you find the number five? Oh, who won that time? Me. You did. Sure. Now, ready? Yeah. Can you find the number ten? Oh. Who got there that time? Me. You. I did. Okay. Can you find the number thirteen? Super quick that time, well done. So that's the um, the easiest way to play the game, finding the number that you actually call. To make the game a little bit trickier, um, they're not going to find the number that you call, they're going to find the number that comes after the number that you call. So you could say, can you find the number that comes after five? So in that case, they're looking for the number six. Can you find the number six? Oh, Ooh, well done. So, number word after, a little trickier. Uh, the same kind of idea, the number that comes before. So, you'd say, can you find the number that comes before nine? That's eight. Can you find eight? Oh, where is it, the bright? Well done. So, number word after, number word before makes it a little bit harder. you might want to play it is the trickiest way and that's using um, sums that you have written on a piece of paper ready to go and um, again judge it by how confident your child is maybe they need ones that stay below 10 so 1 plus 4 6 plus 1 0 plus 2 and um, they can use their hands or they could use a number line that you have set up to the side for them and um, a little bit harder are ones that go past 10 so 9 plus 5 8 plus 3 um, or even harder still, take away sums 8, take away 3. Um, these ones will probably be suitable for um, senior infants. If you're working with somebody who is either in an older class or somebody who's really confident, make the sums as hard as you want. Just make sure that the, the, the number that you need is out on the floor. Um, so that's it. Number smash. We hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye. bye.